No, seriously. I can't believe you made it in this weather. It is pouring outside. Pouring rain. I, I don't know if you can hear it. We probably can, but we probably had a sound effect in that moment right there. Here's a little uh, FYI behind the scenes of the Daily Tip for you guys. I, I film the Daily Tip, oh yes, that's right, with my very illustrious and expensive flip camera that is on a permanent stand right there that you cannot see. I don't know why I'm pointing to it. Um, so I do the Daily Tip, I film it, party of one, hello, party of one, party of one. Then I give it, oh that's right, I give the flip camera to my editor. We have an editor now. There is, I know, I know. <laughs> wow. Staff of two here on the Daily Tip. We are growing leaps and bounds. Once again, ones of dollars are being spent. So then the editor takes it and edits the video and adds graphics and the visuals that I give him for, uh, for the Friday Five and the tip of the day and all that fun stuff. But he takes it upon himself to add sound effects, music, noises. I have no idea what they are. None whatsoever. So I just run with them. I mean, I see them for the very first time and hear them for the very first time. I don't see the noises. I hear the noises for the first time when you hear them. So I have no idea what I'm responding to. Just an FYI. Just so you know. It's almost like Avatar. It's almost like we're shooting Avatar on green screen and the actors don't know what it is that they are acting towards. It's that intense. Yeah. James Cameron and I, on par with budgets, pretty much. Okay, I'm back from Tennessee, and officially really back in my living room. Uh, and I'm leaving again on Monday, today. As a matter of fact, you are watching this, and I'm on a plane to the Midwest. I filmed this this past weekend. I filmed the whole weeks this past weekend, so... As the week progresses, if they are not topical in terms of what's happening in the world, like, I would love to talk about the closing ceremonies at the Olympics, I can't because I have not seen them yet. I will watch them tomorrow, but I will not be shooting daily tips tomorrow. Are you confused? Because I am. Uh, but I am back from Tennessee, and I want to say I had an incredible time. Just a spectacular time. And I need to thank some people. I'm going to miss some people here, but just bear with me. Ashley Johnson, Lee Lofton, Brian Atchie, the mayor of Sevierville, Jim McGill, Brenda McCroskey, um, Debbie Newman, and Laura Long, and Lauren, uh, all these people were so instrumental in me being there and then made sure I had a fantastic time. And I did. I had an awesome time. People were so cool. And Laura Long, as a matter of fact, had a gift basket in my room with all things Tennessee, from the Bush's Beans to Johnny Cash CD, to White Lily Flower, and to, you know, uh, Tennessee author uh, James Agee, and a bottle of wine from Tennessee, and two bottles of Jack Daniels. I'm just saying, there was some alcohol. <laughs> just saying. And some pottery, a brand new mug from Tennessee. Oh yeah, that's right. And this was actually made by Laura Long's 13-year-old son. So shout out to Laura and her son. Thank you so much. I had such a spectacular time. Thank you for having me. It was, if you've never been, I highly recommend. Highly recommend it. As a matter of fact, it's very close to Dollywood. And I did not go to Dollywood this time. It was a very quick trip. So, thank you to the people of Sevierville, Tennessee. I had an awesome time. Awesome? Someone say, awesome? Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that, my friends, was something. That's awesome. Awesomeness Mondays. And we have Awesome Awesomeness Mondays to get to, and, and a daily tip, I'll throw in a daily tip just because. Uh, okay, so the very first Awesome Awesomeness actually comes in the form of Laura Long from Tennessee, and she sent me this photograph, and I'm going to show it to camera and hopefully you can see it. I'm hoping you can see that that, my friends, is a delicious cheeseburger, fries, and a chocolate shake. Can you see that? That's deliciousness. That is her awesome awesomeness because she knows how much I love the cheeseburgers, fries, and chocolate shakes. Laura, yes, I do. I certainly do. Okay, we have a bunch of awesome awesomeness. Jana from Fort Lauderdale, Florida says, I freeze vodka in ice cube trays and add ice cubes to tea or lemonade. <coughs> God, 
me all choked up. Uh, uh, Janet's having a great time in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, Mark from Dayton, Ohio says, Your neighborhood Starbucks will donate their used coffee grounds to you or your organization if you are using them for composting. Free coffee grounds for everyone. Awesome, awesomeness. Selena from Portland, Oregon says, Don't throw away leftover wall or paint colors. Use them for small wood projects like side tables or wooden gift boxes. I get creative with painter's tape and make interesting designs on boxes just by masking off certain areas and then painting around them. And Kelly from New Orleans, I love New Orleans. I should love all these places, but I do love New Orleans. The food, ooh, the food's so good. Use tea bags to stain old looking dish towels. If you adhere a removable stencil to the towel, then dip into a pitcher of water with a few tea bags in there for about an hour, maybe more, depending on how dark you want the stain to get. Then remove, dry, and remove stencil. You get a very organic and vintage looking tea towel. Oh, a tea towel. A tea towel. Tile. Tea towel with the tea staining. Uh, play with the timing of the stain and stencils. Fun for kids, she says. Awesome awesomeness. There's so much awesome awesomeness. Um, all good stuff. Thank you, people. Keep it coming. Uh, there's more. I just can't get to it all because we have tip of the day to get to. Before we get to tip of the day, we me, got a ton of email about the Falcon. Oh, the Falcon made a huge appearance with its own theme song, right? Which probably will be a different theme song next time the Falcon appears like now. See what I'm seeing? See what I'm saying? Is that what I'm seeing? See what I'm seeing saying? See it? Yes. The Falcon will be making appearances from time to time. My co-host, if you will. Regis has got Kelly. Barbara from The View has so many people. The Whoopi, the Joy, the, the many people. She's got the many people. And my brain is not functioning right now, so I can't really think of everybody's name. I'm so sorry. Oh, who else does she have on there that I'm forgetting? Oh. Mm, I'm sorry. You know, you know who you are. You know who you are. I just had <laughs> absolutely complete brain freeze because I have gotten no sleep. Needless to say... Dave has got his Paul Schaefer in the band. Uh, Jay is going to have someone new, I think. And I got Falcon. That's right, I got Falcon. Craig Kilborn has no one. That's how good that man is. He doesn't need anyone. I need a Falcon. Okay, so March tips. March 1st, Monday. Hang art in your office. It breaks up the formality and adds some energy to the room. Yes, indeed. I could not agree more with this tip of the day. I don't know who came up with it, but it's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it's true. You know, offices get overwhelmed with all the work that we're doing. And, and Lord knows, sweet mother of pearl, my office has so much stuff going on in terms of all the work and paperwork and design things. and You don't even want to know. But hanging artwork, even if it's just one really great piece, something that's visible, something that maybe you can see from where you're sitting, instantly changes your mood sometimes because if you're overwhelmed with all the work, overwhelmed with all the paperwork, if you can just look up for a minute and see a photograph that you love or see a piece of artwork that really speaks to you or inspires you, uh, it can create uh, a very different way for you to view your day and your work. And I always say kind of break the art up. If you've got shelving, put a couple different pieces on, uh, on different shelves and on the wall as well. Maybe, maybe, or maybe, I can't speak. I can't speak. It is a small wonder that I am on the televisions. Because I can't speak. Um, it is a small wonder that I forgot what I was going to say. But what it does is it really just breaks up the room and gives your room some interest. And not only that, but makes a very utilitarian space feel uh, a little bit more energetic and colorful. So that is your tip of the day. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, right here on The Daily Tip. Bye.